Welcome to Unit 9. It's called English and today we're dealing with Lesson 6. It's called My English Class. My name's Anastasia and this time we're working together. Communicative area of our today's class includes speaking about English classes, where active vocabulary contains such words as allowed, attend, composition, dictionary, project and translate. Grammar revision includes have to for necessity, must for rules and should for advice. Answer the questions below please. When did you start learning English? When were you able to say the English alphabet, to read, to write? How many English classes a week do you have this year? Can you speak a little English now? When do you think you'll be able to speak English really well? If you don't know a word, do you ask your teacher, use the internet or use a dictionary? Let's listen to Marta from Poland, Hans from Germany and Irina from Russia. They will be talking about their English classes. Who had the best English classes? Unit 9, Lesson 6, Exercise 2A and... Sorry. Yes. Unit 9, Lesson 6, Exercise 2A and C. I'm a person who used to learn English only at school. I started learning it at the age of 11, when I was in the fifth form. That wasn't much, only two hours a week. I don't know how it happened, but in the class of 30 people, I was able to learn good English. I must say, I had a very good teacher. He liked me because I had a kind of gift for English, and I showed some interest in what he used to say. I was good at talking, and after four years of learning the language at school, I was able to speak freely, while other people from my class, to the simplest question, what's your name, would always answer, I'm boy. My English classes were horrible. We just read aloud and translated from English into German. We had to learn our grammar rules book by heart from cover to cover. We regularly had very difficult grammar tests. Our teacher was very strict and she punished us for each mistake. I didn't want to attend English classes, but I had to. And when I had to speak, I was too scared to say a word. I wasn't able to ask a simple question. I learned to speak English only at the age of 16 or 17 when I was a teenager. I traveled to Britain, then to visit my aunt. It was a very wonderful time. Our English classes were fantastic. We had quiz shows, did projects, recited poems, learned songs by heart, learned how to use dictionaries and wrote interesting compositions about school, friendship, and music we liked. I loved English when I was at school. Actually, English was my favorite subject. Unit 9. Lesson 6, Exercise 2A and C. This is it. Okay, we can continue right now. We are supposed to check the answers, so here they are. Pause the video and have a look at them, please. Now answer the question, what do you usually have to do in your English class? Use the box to answer. Pause the video. As far as you can see, we're using here construction have to. I usually have to start every sentence like that. Pause the video. Let's move on. Write what you have to do in your real... Sorry, <laughs> I'm just very excited about having a class with you. Write what you had to do in your last English class. Did you enjoy it? Why? Use the words, we had to, I liked, because. Use the words, which you see in the box. Please pause the video. Yes. 
you can use the following phrases as an example. I learned grammar riddles at school and I really enjoyed it. I asked and answered questions in English. I liked it. I always thought carefully. Answer one. Now use the table of rules for school students to complete the sentences. Add must or mustn't. Pause the video. It is necessary for fulfilling the exercise. Now let's continue. Check yourself. It's time to move on, right you are. From the list below, choose the rules that work in your school. Is it that you must attend all classes or that you mustn't miss English classes? Mustn't be naughty and noisy, mustn't write in school books, must arrive for lessons on time, must bring day book to school, do homework, Return books to the school library. Uh-huh. What do you think teachers, parents and children should do or shouldn't do? Use the ideas in the list to give advice. We give advice using should or shouldn't. I think teachers shouldn't give a lot of homework. I think parents should help children with homework. I think children should listen to their parents. Look through exercises three, four and five. Answer the grammar questions below. Please pause the video. Какие модальные глаголы использованы в упражнениях три, четыре, пять? Have to, should and must. Как они различаются по форме? Do you have any idea? Let's see. Must and should не требуют частицу to. Have to требуют. Вспомогательный глагол при отрицании и в вопросительных предложениях. Question number three. Как задать вопрос с каждым из этих глаголов? Как построить отрицание? Must you и первая форма глагола, should you, первая форма глагола, do you have to плюс первая форма глагола, must, mustn't, should, shouldn't, have to, don't have to. Как они различаются по значению и какой из этих глаголов используется, когда говорим о правилах и законах? Какой выражает необходимость или вынужденность? И с помощью какого мы даем советы или рекомендации? Must – правила, закона и обязательства. Have to – необходимость, вынужденность. Should – совет, рекомендация. Complete each sentence with one of the modal verbs from exercises three, four, five. Have to for necessity, must for rules, should for advice. Pause the video. When you finish up, we will check it. Let's have a look. Don't have to, should and must. Pause the video if you want to stop and look through the sentences once again. Now divide the word snake below into 21 questions. Of course you're supposed to pause the video first, then we will check together. Check yourself, look through the questions. Use the questions below to interview a classmate. Report the answers to your teacher. Thank you very, very much for your attention. It was a pleasure working with you. Have a good day. See you very, very soon. Good luck to you. Goodbye.